Hi guys, my name is Kate, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna share with you guys how to apply a logo to a 3D object. Good news! It's very simple and all you need is Photoshop or another software which allows you to work with layers and channels. A good 3D object and a logo, of course. As you guys know, Instagram allows to use one logo in a filter, so there is nothing that can stop you from creating a branded 3D object for you or your clients. Before we start, please subscribe to this channel and hit the like button. Thank you! Let's go! First thing first, let's import a 3D object to the blank project. You see that the object consists of several elements. Those elements are the model and the maps or UV mapping. There are a lot of things to know about the maps, but today we're focusing on applying a logo. So the first map to work with is the base color map. It's also called albedo. Albedo map, you can see it here in the inspector if you choose the object's material. Right-click on it and reveal in Explorer. Alright, now let's open this map in Photoshop. This map gives information about colors without any additional details or features, just colors. If you see the UV mapping first time, it can be frustrating, but let's compare the object with its color map. You can see that it's pretty easy to understand where each part of the hat is located. These circles are the buttons of the cap, and so on. I'm gonna use this map to add a logo to the hat. First of all, let's find the front part of it. I see these circles here. It looks like a stroke for the glasses, so I think it's the front part. But to be sure, I take the brush and put the red dot here. Save it, go back to the project and replace the map. Yep, that's right, the front part is right here. Now we can go to the logo. In this case, we will be using this wolf sticker. It should be a PNG file. Any logo you use, it should be a PNG with transparent background. OK, I'm placing it where we have decided. Now let's take a look at what we got. Yeah. The logo looks good. It looks like it is a part of the cap material. But what if I want it to look like a sticker instead? Then we need another map. Roughness. Roughness map is a part of the ORM texture. It stands for occlusion, roughness and metallic. Let's open this map and go to the channels. Red channel is for occlusion, green for roughness, and blue for metallic. In this case, we need the green channel. What do these colors mean? White color means roughness, so white parts are very rough, they don't reflect the light. And black parts are smooth, not rough at all. They reflect the light very good. And Grey tones are intermediate states. The head is almost white, which makes the material look rough. And since I want the sticker to reflect the light and be smooth, I'm gonna change its color to grey. I copy and paste the map to my color map in order to get my wolf in the same place.
Select the logo and add color overlay. Now I merge together and go back to the ORM map. Green channel, paste. Okay, let's save, change the map inside the project and test it. All right, it looks like a very thin sticker. That thing that we see the roughness of the hat. To make the sticker thicker, we use the normal map. It adds details by faking the lighting of bumps and dents. Here it is. This map is easier than the previous one. Again, I copy it to the wolf. Select it and change its color to this one. The color has these parameters, you can use it. In my case, I found it here on the right corner. By using this color, I am adding thickness to my sticker. And here is the final result. It looks like a real sticker. And all we used was Photoshop and a little magic. Hope you guys find this tutorial useful. Thank you for watching and see you soon.